All right, so we're at the top of our ski line. And as you can see, there's a cornice, so we can't actually see into the line at this point. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna belay my ski partner. I'm gonna put him on a rope out to the cornice so he can check out our run and then we'll ski down. So in this episode, I'm gonna show you two different ways that you can belay your partner safely to scope out a line. So I've stopped a fair ways away from the cornice where I know I'm safe. And so I've prepped the rope. So really important, not in the end of the rope. You always wanna maintain the end of the rope so you don't accidentally lower the person off of it, right? So barrel knot on the end, and then I've stacked the rope so the, the skier is on the top of the pile. The first belay method is just a seated belay. So I'm gonna kick a nice flat platform where I can sit down to the snow, feet out towards the cornice, bracing myself. So it's your body weight versus his body weight. That's why it's really important that your long way is back away from the cornice and ideally a little bit downhill. So you have a little mini top rope climbing sort of scenario set up, right? The rope goes up, down over the cornice and onto the other side. So we have friction and we also have gravity because I'm on the other side. The other belay method that we're gonna use is using a T-slot as our primary anchor. So you would use this in a scenario where you didn't have as much room or a slope that you could safely do a body belay, or you really thought it was a massive cornice and you were really gonna take a big fall, right? So think body belay is okay if you're not gonna take that much force, when you think you're gonna take a real proper fall, then you're gonna beef up your anchor and make a proper T-slot. So I've got my T-slot set up. I've got my skier on belay using a munter hitch. If you wanna learn more about the T-slot, you can check out another G3 episode or any sort of crevasse rescue or ski mounting course, you'll learn all about this technique. So from here, I've got the skier on belay directly off the T-slot, munter hitch, and at this point, all I have to do is feed the rope out, one hand feeding the rope and one hand feeding the rope into the belay device. And then if he were to fall, holding the ropes in line will lock the hitch. So a really nice perk of this method is that if your ski partner falls, the weight will go directly onto the anchor. You're removed out of the system. All you have to do is hold on to this rope and he's safe. So there you have it, two different ways that you can safely approach a line from the top, and hopefully that'll give you a bit more confidence next time you're out adventuring into new territory.